Finally in 2017, wireless charging has been invented. And now with iPhone 8, with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. Now, if you're an Android user, you're saying, Phil, Phil, we've had wireless charging for a long time. Yes, I know this. Sitting here on my table is an Energizer key charger. It's one of those wireless inductive chargers. Actually, Phil, it's pronounced Qi with a silent Q. Wow, that was a long time ago. But now we have the iPhone 8 that has wireless charging. The iPhone X will have it as well. And both of those are really big deals. So the group behind the wireless charging standard, the Wireless Power Consortium, and how cool of a name is that? Said, Phil, we want to sponsor a video where you tell people all about this stuff. And I said, sure, sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. So first, what is wireless charging and why do you want it? Well, that's easy. And I mean, wireless charging is easy because all you need is a compatible phone and a wireless charging pad and it charges. That's it. It's that easy. And that's really what this is all about. No more having to plug cords into your phone, making sure you have the right one, fumbling around in the dark. Okay, you do have to plug a cord into the charging pad itself, but that's the only one. And once it's there, it stays there. Here's another reason why wireless charging is actually better. It creates less heat and that's easier on your battery. I know we've heard a lot about fast charging and how much juice you can shove into your phone in half an hour, but that creates heat and that's worse on the battery in the long run. So what do you need to actually do wireless charging? Well, first you need a phone that handles it, right? On the Android side, some of the most popular ones are the Samsung Galaxy S series. The Galaxy S6, S7, and S8 all have wireless charging baked in. So we've been doing that for a while. Galaxy Note line from the Note 5 on up also have it. And we've been able to get these battery cases or replacement doors or things like that for years now. We're very much used to this. Now, if you're using an iPhone, you've also had to resort to battery cases. I've done it, good chance you've done it. But with the iPhone 8 and the new iPhone X, wireless charging is built in. Very cool and frankly, it's about time. But again, if you've got an older phone that doesn't support wireless charging out of the box, hunt around, see if you can find a compatible wireless charging case for it. I've been using one on my Pixel XL for a while. They're out there, absolutely. And yeah, you'll also need a charging pad. Uh, Samsung's been making its own for a long time. They've got a couple versions. One charges more slowly than the other. Apple has its upcoming air power. You have to say it like that. Charger that will charge the iPhone 8 and AirPods and the little case for the AirPods and a watch all at the same time. Very cool. And there are a ton of third party charging pads out there as well. They're all over Amazon. Make sure it's Qi certified. Just look for the little Qi logo on the box or on the charger itself. If you're still not sure, the Wireless Power Consortium has a really cool database of all these products. So if you want to make sure something is actually compatible, go check it out. I'll have a link down below in the description. So this is just the start of our little foray into wireless charging. We'll have more in the next video where I show you how I'm using it, how my family's using it. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments how you're using wireless charging or if you're gonna. Thanks again to the Wireless Power Consortium for sponsoring this thing. That's it, we'll see you next time.